All right. Well, as you can see here, you have your some of your you loaded now with uh, some of that civilian clothing. And uh, yeah, still bald, still bald. And that's a weird pattern on the pants, but whatever, I'll take it. Anyway, let's see if we can get the ship summit up here. So let's go ahead and lock the camera here by pressing Z now. And press F4 now to go into first person view. Now you want to go ahead and line these up here. This is a little bit tricky right now. And this is a temporary solution until the new hollow table is actually introduced. So once you get that highlighted, we're going to go ahead and hit. Oh, no, no, I, can do it. I got on the ground. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> All right, stop it. <laughs> uh, okay, that's really tricky right here. Hold on a second. Okay, it's right alt, backspace, and now I'm not lined up anymore for some reason. Not backspace, but backslash. Sorry about that. Yeah, anyway, come on. Line up. There we go. <laughs> Alright, let's give your cursor. There we go. And currently equipped. So it doesn't look like I can summon up my Starfarer, which is kind of weird. But. I don't know. Let's just summon up a constellation for the hell of it. Oh no. Aegis Vanguard Warden. Let's do that. I've always wanted to see it in the hangar. All right. What? Where'd it go? Do I have to move? Item pending. Okay. I guess it's loading the asset. This should be different. Okay, let's get away even more. <laughs> oh, there we go. Alright, well. There's your hard points and everything. Looks like everything is highlighted the same way. Whoa, looks like my gun is really worn on this now. Like all the paint's coming off it. Maybe it's always been like that, but... Persistent universe, I haven't noticed it. I don't know. That looks kind of odd, though. Wings still don't fully retract, apparently. Alright. Yeah. So drop a ship into your hangar and enjoy. Pretty cool. Alright, well, let's see if I can go ahead and, since I can't summon the Starfare G here for some reason. Which is the one I actually do own. Let's see if I can get into the PTU and uh, see what I can see there. Well, it looks like I get to wake up in my sexy civilian clothing. Now, I do know that over here on the left is your locker, and this will let you put on your spacesuit, which you're definitely going to want to do if you plan on stepping outside. And this will switch it back to. So if I remember right, there we go. F4 is now external view, Z is to allow free camera. So it'll take a little while to get used to all these changes. There we go. Oh my goodness. Does anyone see a problem with the uh, air security on this uh, outfit here? I think going out, I don't, I, think, I don't think this is going to be any more secure than the uh, civilian outfit going out in the space. Alright, so let's take a look here. So I have no idea what walk is anymore. Just go in the first person here. I do like seeing the unfinished areas. I think this is actually pretty cool looking. Adds a bit more flavor to the to the station. Frame rate seems to be a little bit low, but that could be because there's a lot of people downloading it right now. They gave the access to the the concierge and those people who had uh, been subscribed for longer than a year, which worked out for me. But 
I'm still kind of glad to get in finally. So, enough of this mucking about. Let's see if I can, uh, oh! A place to eat your Big Benny's noodles. I like it. Can you sit yet? Nope. Little touches. Anything new over here? All right. Before I summon a ship, let's see if I can find a shop. Cassava. All right. I assume I'm gonna have to get my cursor up again. Nope, nope, that's not it. My good sir, I'd like to buy some clothing. Oh. You can try on, huh? Well, let's see here. Alright, I'm going to take a quick pause while I figure out exactly what I'm supposed to click because I have no idea. Fun with new controls. All right. Well, it's much simpler than I thought. So apparently, you just move your cursor over it. So it says try on. You press F, and there you go. I feel like playing the uh, "I'm Too Sexy" song. Let's see what we got going on here. Yeah, pretty cool. There you go. And you just kind of move the mouse around, turn them in place. So hit F again to drop back out. That's an expensive jacket. Huh. Oh. Cats. Pants. Oh my gosh, those green ones. That'd be so horrible. Oh, that's not good. That's not a good camera angle. <laughs> Alright. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> All right. Oh. Different ways in. So let's see if we can. Well, a little bit of freeze there. Let's see if we can find the gun shop. There's gotta be a gun shop around here. Good as gravy. A little bit of lag, but we'll get through it. I hope. Oh, that's hopeful. Oh, yes. Mad pen. Oh, med pen, sorry. Go go gadget bad eyesight. Oh neat. Wanna shoot it? Nice. Okay. So some repeats on here. Look at that. I have to give them credit on their on their uh, their weapon modeling. This is pretty nice. Definitely. Definitely can't argue with them on that. So these are the same. Arc light energy. Anti chain ballistic. Now they're a little bit different. 
I got the ballistic. You know, I remember uh, a while ago they let us pre-order certain uh, pistols. I think they're still on the store. I wonder if these are uh, those are going to show up on our account soon, so we can actually utilize what we've already purchased. You click on the clerk; it doesn't actually do anything. I found that in both locations. So, how much is a medi pen? Three hundred. What is? All right, so yeah, gun store, cool. So it looks like those are our primary options right now. To the Let's go ahead and see if we can, well, get the Starfire out. Ooh. All right. No. All right, I'm going to try this until I get this done. See you at the pad. All right, after 30 minutes of trying... It looks like I finally got my Starfire Gemini out. So, landing pad zero. Should be this way. I'm really looking forward to this. Too bad I couldn't summon it in my hangar. I spent some time searching around those nodes in the hangar, and while different nodes allowed you to summon different ships, I could never find a node that said summon Starfarer Gemini, and uh, I'm sure that's something that they'll resolve, but maybe I just didn't find it. Maybe I just didn't look hard enough. All right. I definitely love the green. Kind of a military olive drab. Excellent. All right, see if I can jump off the platform here and fly up and over my ship. All right. Always wanted to stand on the top of this thing. Woohoo! Look at that, looking down into the crew quarters. Now, I know that the interior on this hasn't changed, and um, which makes me wonder about the whole it carries less thing, the whole less cargo capacity, because the cargo bay is the exact same size. So I don't see how it could be carrying any less than the standard model. But uh, I think that's one of those things they were just guessing at. That's pretty sexy. I used to do a lot of... Uh, building model airplanes and things like that from kits and whatnot when I was younger and uh, uh, basically we had a lot of uh, uh, plane, planes that we painted out of drab and stuff like that like B-52 and whatnot and uh, yeah that's a really good I just really really partial to that all right so let's go ahead and get inside and see if we can take this off and hopefully the controls haven't changed too much otherwise I'm going to have a real issue here there got to be a safer way to open that door. <laughs> I keep thinking that thing's going to crush me whenever I open it. Alright. And if you see my other Star Bearer video, basically the it's the same. But there's some color palette differences, but basically the interior is exactly the same. It's nice to see some of the doors now having used instead of just automatically opening. Oh, that's the wrong way. The ship still throws me for a loop. All right. Uh... One second. All right, there we go. Big patch update. Now you can be James T. Kirk because you sit in the captain's chair and lag out a bit. Now I already know that. Usually he's in combat mode. Oh, that's kind of cool. You get to see some information on that while you're sitting here. Whoa, that's kind of messy. <laughs> 
All right, I'm not gonna mess with any of that. Oh no, I don't know how to stand up. <laughs> All right, well, I'll pause the video here while I look at the new control setup again and figure this out. I'll be right back. All right, apparently it's left, Alt, F, and how did I take body damage? I took body damage somehow. I forgot to take my seatbelt off first. Okay, apparently I've landed successfully. Alright, so got my sticks in place here. And boy, that is that is terrible at reflection. I know they'll fix that, but all right, let's see here. All right, well, that seems normal-ish. All right. Up! Up, up, and away! All right. <laughs> Guess I press space bar, maybe? So I can rebind all my keys. <laughs> there we go. At least now no one will steal my ship. Yeah. That is a big, pretty ship. All right. Have any throttle? I do not have any throttle. All right. Oh. Well, I got roll. It looks like I have to fly this thing by mouse right now. Maybe. Can't turn it. Totally gonna have to rebind all these keys. The left stick isn't doing anything. The right stick is looking around the cockpit. You know? Hat switch targeting still works. I wanna see these guns fire. I can't turn. Oh, wait a minute. Am I just strafing? Yeah, I definitely need to work on that reflection. That's, that's nigh unseeable. I can barely see the planet in front of me. Still, she's gonna be fun to fly. So yeah, let's see if I can get a, get uh, my controls reconfigured real quick and come right back to it. And see if I can actually fly this thing with any semblance of usefulness. All right, looks like I finally have control of my ship here. Let's see if we can find a location. Oh, well, let's do a comma ray just for kicks and giggles. Don't know what I would be able to do, considering the fact I can barely see anything, but. See which, uh, I don't think this ship should be able to dogfight. 
I mean, I hope it wouldn't be able to. At least, you know, not just me flying this thing solo. Get out of here while you still can. Oh, that's a nice touch. Grumpy pirates. Don't think I have any, um... You pretend cops have always got something to prove, don't ya? Hey, looks like I got stick I am, which is... It's a big gun. That one's dead. Shield charging. All right, let's see if I can get lined up here. All right. Well, I guess I have to wait. That is a big gun. Oh my goodness, that is... that is chunky. What is that? A-S-G-F-A-G-A-D-G-A-J. -A -A <laughs> Alright. And we actually have music playing where... we're out and about. Most times it just seems to cut off uh, relatively quickly in the PU. And it's different music. There's no way I'm getting out of this ship to restore an uplink. Shield charge complete. Though I am glad to see, and I think the acceleration should be slower. I think this is, should be the acceleration we see on standard fighters, something a little bit more um, takes longer to get up to speed. But this ship should even accelerate even slower than this. I would, I feel, personally speaking, uh, acceleration is a major factor when it comes to flight games. It's part of energy conservation when it comes to flight. Yeah, this is a. Uh, Boy, this is a big, it's a big beast. So yeah, 2.4. I'm gonna enjoy this. Can't play much more today. I have a job to go to and all that. But uh, I hope you found this interesting. And let me give you a final view of the outside of this beautiful, beautiful ship. Look at that. That is a beast look forward to flying around with my friends on that and really seeing what kind of garbage we can get to. <laughs> I think the only ship I have that's bigger than this is going to be the Reclaimer. Didn't really want an Idris. But, uh, yeah. This will do. Alright, guys. Catch you next time. Probably going to put together some more vids. Try to take a look at salvaging and uh, get some money together. Buy some fun toys. Catch you later, citizens. Greetings, citizens. Welcome to our first co-op review. This time we are reviewing the new Forex game, Stellaris. And Lightning Dragon is with me, of course, my bastion of common sense and overly critical thinker.